So here we are in uh, Groningen um, at Eurosonic and we have a really interesting and special and smart guest, Roe Tsema. Roe, welcome. Hello. So Roe, um, you've got something interesting because you were always perplexed by the fact that the player, the music player, really has not changed much over the last 25 years. Yeah. So you had an idea and first of all tell us about your company which is called Whitestone. Yeah. Why is it called Whitestone? So Whitestone is named after the inventor of the album artwork. Is that right? Yeah, Alex Steinweis, uh, he was a New York uh, artist and he made uh, album artwork. Uh, he was the first to make album artwork in 1938. Before uh -huh. that it was just a uh, piece of paper covering the... And where does the white stone come from? It was near so the white Steinweiss, stone bridge? Oh, yeah. Steinweiss. So Steinweiss right, is in turn of course. Of course, uh, right. white stone. Okay, so white stone sets out a, co a company to do what and when? When did you do set it up and what is it? So, so it started as my graduation project in uh, 2012 when I started graphic design. Right. And uh, now for the past few months we've been uh, developing the platform. Um, so now we're establishing it to, uh, to more of a startup. And what is it? What, what, what is your objective and what are you trying to evolve? So, because when you said you studied graphic design, my immediate thought was that Steve Jobs studied typography, uh, which brought him to bring emotion into technology. What are you doing? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to redesign and rethink the way that the music player looks like and works like. Right. The way that, that it, it works now is that you have uh, Spotify to, to listen to music, and then you have iTunes to buy the music. Right. And then you have the, the social network to talk about the music. Right. What, what happens if you can connect all of them together into one thing? So you have a social marketplace. Right. Where not only artists can release stuff, but also fans can write reviews, and other fans can like them or even even pay for a really cool a really great review that added value to the content that they're listening to. right so it becomes a, a so in other words what you're saying is that when you started thinking about this those were all different streams disparate in a way yeah and what you're wanting to do is to make it more woven together like different pieces of thread coming together yeah yeah that's that's Interesting. The idea. yeah okay so what have you done uh, so uh, the first thing was that uh, I wanted to have a place where artists can release full screen album artworks. So instead of just, so you can release your regular edition on uh, Spotify or on Apple Music, but you can release a special edition on Whitestone. So that would oh, be like a full a screen, just idea. imagine uh, your favorite artist releasing an album and then they have a special edition uh, that you can play on your 50 inch screen in your living room. So that it, it doesn't replace the vinyl, but it's much, much more than just a track list. A track list just makes you press, uh, 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 press play and just go do something else. And when you have something that's much more engaging, it makes it more exciting and interesting and has much more value for the fans. So what technology have you woven together to bring this com th these components together? The, the technology is not something that I invented or anything. Right. Uh, we're, we're looking into different compression systems right. to make it easier for, uh, to make the back end more stable for right. complex visuals. Right. Um, but Does it include uh, video as well? Yeah, absolutely. Good, because video, certainly last week in, La, in uh, Las Vegas at uh, CES, Consumer Electronics Show, everything was about the video. Yeah. It's not about the bass, it's yeah. about the video. Yeah. Yeah, so actually, if you're thinking about the video, and it's good that you mentioned, the, the video is a new layer after the music. So you add, the first thing you add is only sound. In 1983, you add MTV, then you add visuals and videos. Right. And then now you have the interaction that, that's added on top of it. Right. And that's quite interesting because uh, with virtual reality, for example, you could say that if you look to this direction for more than two seconds, the fan is going to be exploring a new world that's different than if you would look to the other side. Right. So that's very, very interesting in terms of uh, an artist thinking farther than just the music and farther than just visuals. Do you think artists think that way? Absolutely. Well, I, I mean, for me, it's really exciting. And I know that, yeah, Tom York, for example, Radiohead, Bjork, people that are uh, uh, pushing the boundaries of technology, they always try to do that and they always will. It's, uh, yeah, I'm, 
not saying any, anything new here. I was watching a fascinating video of David Bowie being interviewed in the year 2000, 15 years ago, talking about what you've just said. He was a great visionary, but now you're trying to bring these things together so your player becomes so much more of a magnet for the fan, for the musician. It's, uh, how do you think it's going to improve the wider uh, impact of, uh, of, of the music experience? First of all, it's going to add much more value to it. If, if I have an experience where I am supposed to just click play and go do something else, how much am I going to pay for it? But if I have something that's more than that, it's like, oh, this is really cool. Um, so I believe that that would change in that aspect, which, which I think is a very important aspect for artists that are really trying to live off of music. Uh, I also think that uh, the first thing that's going to happen is that people are going to go wild with the technology. So they realize, wow, this is really possible. So then they go on and try to think with their mind, with their vision, how they can implement this into their work. And that's what I see now with labels that we're talking to, that they're getting really excited about it because the possibilities it's just, it's a new stream of creativity that you un unleash with that. So when you're sitting down with a label or with a manager, what's your pitch? I'm just showing them that there are more possibilities in terms of creativity. And with that, a, a new revenue model is coming. So if, if an artist now releases a video clip and they tweet about it, they get some views. They get a few thousand views, 10,000 views, 100,000 views. Maybe, yeah. But it's, but it's still, it's only on YouTube. And YouTube is, uh, YouTube is like channel one and two in television. Exactly as soon right. as MTV was launched. Very good point. Then, you know, this is only music. And this is, and also the fact that when you release something on Whitestone, it has its own URL, which is a full screen experience. It's not like you have tons of other videos. You might like this or you might like that. No, right. you came to see this, check this out, enjoy this. Any any uh, any uh, names or any artists that you could mention here in this uh, interview that uh, picked yeah, up I'm, on uh, it? Uh, actually, the, the first artist that we're working with now um, uh, uh, is uh, Livyatanim, which is an Israeli band. Uh, Are they good? I, I think they're brilliant. Uh, they blew my mind. They they created an interactive experience that really pushes the boundaries of the technology. What do they do? And how did they use Whitestone in that? creation so so now they released uh, uh, an interactive experience a video and an interactive cover art wow. um, for their album and they're about to release another uh, another interactive experience uh, in uh, at the end of uh, the month so that's really exciting um, but the, the amazing thing that they did maybe it's gonna go a little bit too technical but instead of just having a track and some movement so fans can look around with their, uh, with their mouse, with their cursor, or with a virtual reality goggles. Right. They also implemented another layer of MIDI track under the audio. Oh. So actually the visuals that you see are not video, but really happening at the same time. So the MIDI controls the visuals at the same time. Oh. And then they, had, they, they made another video explaining that you can pause the video at a certain point and con connect it to your uh, Ableton or uh, uh, Cubase and start playing with your MIDI keyboard and change it. So you can use it as a visualizer to your live performance. Now that's added value. That is added value. Yeah. And of course then, uh, you would then be able to have something that could be sent all over the world so that someone could experience the live performance with all of those added embellishments yeah. in this way. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So, how did, have you been funded in Whitestone? Um, from You're looking my for savings, basically. No, but yeah. sure, that's, you've got to start somewhere. You're looking for funding right now. Yeah. And what, what amount of money are you looking for? Yeah, we're looking for, uh, we're basically looking for partners that really understand that, and we're looking for something between the, like about 250K. So this might be something that would be of interest to a company like, say, the metadata specialist, top people in the world, Grace Notes. They would love something like this. Okay. So maybe the California would be interested in seeing where Rowie is coming from or going to. Yeah, I'm actually going to South by Southwest, so uh, hopefully I'm going to go by on the way to New York and LA as well. So it would be good to uh, to meet those kind of people. Yes. I think this is the kind of thing that would be worth you speaking to various managers about, and someone that would be worth you going to see would be Scooter Braun, who's always worked with Israeli technology. He manages. Uh, Justin Bieber, 
a number of other important uh, people. Yeah. Uh, so, final message, how can people get in touch with you? How do they reach you? Uh, they just go to whitestone.io. Whitestone.io. Yeah, they can also email me at uh, Rowey, R-O-E-Y, like Joey, but with an R, uh, at Whitestone. Rowey, not Joey, R-O-E-Y at whitestone.io. Yeah. And then magic will happen. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. You've got muzzle. You may have muzzle and dove. For those that don't know what that means, that means you've got to really give it a go. Pedal to the metal. Thanks. Rowie, thanks. Thank you very All much. All the best to you. Thanks. Great.